How you doing gang? It's Carved Up Vegan and just making a how to video to grow organic oyster mushrooms. So first what you want to do, you want to buy some sugarcane mulch. You can purchase that from the local Bunnings, preferably organic. And next of all you want to get a bucket, make sure it's clean, washed out, and sanitized. And make sure you get some some of these Ziploc bags. I just get them from the local Woolworths. They're they're pretty good. They're the large ones. And next next you wanna get well, this makes it a lot easier, but obviously you don't have to use um, these mushroom spores for pearl oyster. But this makes it a lot easier to process. Now, first what you want to do is is get boil your kettle with some boiling boil your kettle up with some water, make sure it's all the way filled up and then put put the sugarcane mulch in the bucket and pour the boiling water over it and what I like to do is put put the bodyboard on top of the bucket so it keeps steaming for a while and keeps cooking the mulch and just leave it overnight or for a few hours and whenever it's cool and then tip all the water out and then what I like to do is place it all over the bodyboard so so it can dry out and cool out and next of all I'll show you what to do it's a bit hard with one hand open the bag and then fill fill the bag with mulch. Now I'll do that now. So it might take a while. Make sure it's all compacted heaps. Compacted as much as you can. What we'll do is open the bag of marvelous mushrooms. Pour some of the grain in. And that's what it looks like. I know it just said pour all the grain in. I don't know why you would. But. Yeah. I meant to mix it all together. I don't know why you'd put the whole lot in, but. Oh well, we'll just put the whole load in for this demonstration. Just keep pouring it over. It's pretty hard filming between your legs with the iPad. I don't even know if I'll use the whole lot. I probably should, but... Oh, who gives a fuck? Jeez, I think it might need more mulch. Nah. Do what I do, kids. <laughs> Just keep placing it layer by layer as you keep compacting it down. Just place more spores on it. People want to complicate it so much. 
Like, you don't need rubbing alcohol or all sorts of contraptions. Just look on YouTube. There's so many different people that just want to complicate things. This is simple, easy. Anyone can do it. It's not rocket science. All you need is like for it to be clean and fairly sterile. I might save this and start a new mycelium coronation. Now, I probably put a bit much in, but I'll try to compact it more. Shit, the bag broke. What you want to do is twist it around and then put a rubber band over it. And then just sit it in the cupboard like these other ones, in a closed cupboard. There. Just sit it for about, about two months and you'll see it go all white. And once it's all gone white for about two months, then cut an X like that with a knife or scissors, and then mushrooms will start growing out of it. And then what you want to do is spray them, spray them with like water twice a day, one at night and one in the morning. And then you should have mushrooms growing. And then keep repeating that process when the mushrooms are growing as well. Because they need the moisture. So thanks for listening to this video. And carb up.